Summerfest has kicked off at Silver Dollar City and with every new festival comes a new tasting passport. So today I'm giving you our top five tips of using these at Silver Dollar City. Okay, before we get started, click on over to YouTube. Our link is in our profile in the description box and hit that subscribe button to find out more. Okay, so moving on, as you guys can see, these are what the tasting passports look like. You will scan your QR code and that will count you down. You get five options from this. This is if you do not know this already. So jumping right into our tips. Tip number one, okay, purchase it at Hannah's Ice Cream Parlor. This is the best place to get it. It is at the front of the park and you only are going to miss a bypass one restaurant and that is Eva and Delilah's and it always has some sort of dessert option. So if you've used four, okay, go that way and you can scan it for your dessert there at Eva and Delilah's on your way out of the park. So that's like a bonus tip with tip number one. Okay, tip number two. On the back of here, it has all of your locations with the type of food that you are getting and the food option that is on the menu. Use the app to find your way to these things. Now, be warned, there are some things that are not listed on here. For example, during Street Fest, Taste of the City was not there. Then we learned and found it down at Rivertown. So keep your eyes peeled if you are looking for it. And also ask a Silver Dollar City citizen. They'll give you directions. Okay, moving on to tip number three. Okay, this is a lot of food for one person. If you're going by yourself and you feel full after three of these, go, leave, come back later if you're making a second trip and use it again. You may use it another day as long as the festival is still active, okay? So for example, if we still had stuff on our bluegrass and barbecue one, which was the most recent one, unfortunately we missed out. But we usually use all five, which is no problem for us. This also ties into tip number four. Tip number four is if you are going with someone else, this is shareable by two people. Okay, so if you're a family of four, you may only need to get two of these and you can share it amongst your family of four. But Ashley and I, it doesn't take us but one of these and we do not feel hungry when we leave. It's actually rather nice. And the portions are sometimes full size and they're sometimes partial size, which is great for us because it's the two of us. Finally, tip number five, there are drink options on here. We highly suggest do not use this for a drink option. Use your refillable mug if you have one. If not, purchase the drink outright. You do not want to waste it. Waste an option for a drink on here, unless it's just like super expensive, but drinks at Silver Dollar City are fairly inexpensive. So guys, those are our top five tips for the tasting passports. We hope you enjoy. Thanks, bring on the next adventure.